What is going on and welcome to another episode of The Hot Take. I'm your host, Jesse Burrell, and this is where we talk everything real estate from wholesale, flipping, rentals, and everything in between. Today we're covering expert tips on cold calling. Blake, at the end of this episode, gives three gems. Make sure you stay for them because it will change your business if you're cold calling. Let's get into it. Last month, we had a great webinar. We do these every month for free. Since we talked about cold calling today, last month was about sales training with Steve Trang. Check out the episode right now. All right, today I have a very special guest. He's actually right down the street from my office, Blake Smith. Welcome in, brother. Hey, I appreciate it. So before we get started, um, let's tell everyone a little bit about your real estate journey in a quick one minute summary. How long have you been wholesaling? Roughly how many deals are you doing a month? And where are you getting your deals from? Hey, I'm Blake Smith. Uh, thanks for having me here. Yeah, we. so I've been wholesaling now just under three years. Uh, this will be my first million dollar year and we do most of our deals from cold calling. So roughly right now we're doing 10 deals a month and I'm excited to share my secrets with you. So as Blake said, he's doing about 10 deals a month all from cold calling. I actually sat down with him yesterday and he was dropping gems. So I had to bring him on the show because this is a lot of things people don't know. So this is gonna be super <clears throat> helpful if you're already cold calling and doing a good job or if you're just getting into it, this is gonna be absolutely amazing. All right, Blake, so yesterday when we were talking, I, I wanna get into it first because a lot of people have improper expectations. We really started talking about that. So for the person that's getting started, let's start talking about, okay, actually we have a lot to uncover. So let's, let me think about this. So if you're just getting started, we had this conversation, do you hire a VA or do you do it yourself? Uh, depends on if you have money. So most people just getting started, they have more time than money. You should do it yourself. You need to do it yourself. Number one, just to understand the process. You need to be able to train your VAs and have a conversation with them. So doing it yourself is going to build that skill set that you need. And two, you don't have money. So sit on the phones, close deals and get your bank account to where you have a little bit of working capital. At that point, once you have a little bit of working capital, your first VA, when you're hiring cold callers, you need to hire three cold callers. So gem number one, don't hire one VA. Wait until you have enough money to hire three. Yes. Tell me why. So one cold caller on market average, your cold caller is going to bring you in one to two leads a day. You need 50 leads to get a contract. So if we do one cold caller, you're five, six weeks before you even have enough leads to technically get a contract. And now, that's if you're doing everything right. Correct. That's if you're able to, on the acquisition side, be good at closing the deal. Yep. So someone new, it could be one in a hundred. Yep. Yep. So when you take those odds and you want to win, and which we play this game to win, right. we're not practicing anymore. Yeah. So three callers are going to give you between four and six leads a day. Now we're going to be looking at 30 to 40 leads a, a week. And as an acquisition rep, you need to be feeding your about 30 to 40 leads a week. Right. So now you have enough time. You have the proper leads coming in for your acquisition rep. And as acquisitions, now you can spend your time on those 30 leads and doing follow up, which is going to give you the proper conversion rates to close deals. Yeah. So basically, and you're saying as yourself as the owner, because you're going to be owning your wholesale company, hire three cold callers. They're going to keep you busy enough to get you about, and that's with three VAs. Yes maybe two to three deals a month. And that's if you're doing a really good job with your follow-up. That means you're yes. good at closing, you're good at talking to sellers. You've already worked on that whole framework to get good at doing that. Yep. So what I really, what I, why I really wanted to do this today was creating expectation is obviously we own Batch Dialer and people will be like, hey, it was the dialer. And we're like, dude, you're calling, we, we looked how much you called, you're calling five hours a week. It's gonna take you six months to get yeah, a deal. Yeah. And, and people don't understand your return on investment, you're gonna make ten to $20,000 on an assignment when you're wholesaling a deal. It's not gonna cost you a hundred bucks to get a deal. Like that's not how it works or literally a lot of people wholesale, but everyone would do it. That's, that's not how it takes. It no. really takes, if you're full time at this, it's gonna take you and you're just calling by yourself, it's gonna take you three months to probably get a deal. And I don't understand why that's disappointing to you. If you have some crappy job that's minimum wage, and you have to wait three months to make 20 grand, you just change your life. And then you can start hiring and doing more things. You have to stick to the process. 
I'm telling you, this is a game of consistency. A hundred percent. Um, and people tend to overcomplicate that piece. Just, it's not about doing massive amounts of work in one day. It's about being consistent every single day. But back to your three callers, if you can hire them, you need to be able to have enough money to keep them on board for 90 days. In 90 days, you're going to have enough leads. You will have enough deals and get closed to recoup your capital. At that point, now you can continue to grow, bring on more callers and uh, and grow your company. Yeah. So if, if you have the funds to hire three callers and you need them for 90 days because you're going to need skip tracing data, you're going to have to have some softwares. Yep. You probably need about $10,000 is what I would think. If you don't have about 10 grand, I would start on your own and hustle. Yeah. We So looking at it, data is the other issue. Um, 5,000 skip trace records per caller is minimum. We recommend 10,000 records per caller to start off with. Otherwise, you're gonna you're running through data. Now, now you're burning through your data. You don't have enough, and again, you're wasting dollars. So you need to have the a, the proper amount of data to match your cold callers. Absolutely. So we recommend ten thousand skip trace records per caller. And for how long do those ten thousand records last? Um, we, I, I don't. So my my answer would be you want to call through that data one time and let it rest. So 30,000 records at three call, you're gonna call through it for a month and yeah. that's gonna rest. And then you need more and then you wanna re-hit that list. That's what people yes. think is you don't hit it once, you rest it, yeah. you hit it again. Because someone that's not interested today, circumstances changes. We are cold calling people or yes. texting people or whatever you're doing to get in front of people. Circumstances always change. Yep. Wholesaling is a timing game and the more people you touch, the better timing and the yep. better opportunities you're gonna have to have more of those prospects that are gonna wanna sell their house for a discount and get your assignments or get your rentals or get your Correct. flip that you're looking for. Yep, and then I wanna come back though. Keep in mind, if you skip trace 10,000 records, it's not just one number, right? You're gonna have multiple numbers and everybody gets to make their own decision whether they wanna call one, two, three, you take two or, or all three. 10. It's two or three, I could literally tell you. I We own Batch Dialer, so if you haven't signed up, for Batch Dialer or your cold calling, Batch Dialer is the place to be. You get a seven day free trial to check it out for absolutely free. You literally get to call for free for a week and trying to start getting those leads. Yeah. It's absolutely awesome. Yeah, and you should take advantage of that because that's a great tip. Absolutely. The next thing I wanna talk about is actually something that you brought to my attention that's really, really important that I didn't even know about because we have the, one of the biggest things in cold calling is spamming and, and your numbers specifically turning to spam to where they're gonna be spam likely or blocked or whatever. Yep. yep. And you actually used all, every single, um, every single dialer, not just batch dialer. You have call tools, you have Zen call, you have, we all have a spam filter, but that's that's just checking one thing. If you actually go to an exter external source, I want you to talk about that on how much success you've had using something that costs a little bit more money, but really helps your cold calling business. Yeah, yeah, for sure. So when I started cold calling, we're, we're always trying to figure out where the issue is, right? Is it the data? Is it the dialer? Is it the callers? Right. So looking through this and, and spending, you know, a, a full year of playing with this, we came to realize that there's a formula that works. Um, one, your contact rate should be eight to 10%. If you're, right. if you're making an eight to 10% contact rate, and that means somebody says, hello, I don't care if it's a do not call a wrong number, that's a contact. Right. If your contact rate is eight to 10%, your data's fine. Don't mess with it. Yeah. The biggest issue we found in conversion was our DID numbers, which are the caller IDs that the dialer uses to dial out on. Correct. We have found the best number is 20 caller IDs per caller. The, the biggest mistake people make is, well, I, I only want five DIDs because that's expensive. Is yeah. what's expensive is that number showing up as spam likely to that one person that, and there goes a $15,000 check. Yeah, they're gonna answer the phone number that isn't spam likely yes. rather than yours. People are, people are so good at being penny smart and dollar stupid. Yep, that's a great way to put it. So when you're looking at it, so you have 20 caller IDs, this is going to minimize the carriers flagging these numbers. The second piece of this, you've got to step outside and get a third party caller ID reputation software. Because it will look at all the reputations of From all the all carriers. The, and what is, that, what is that service that you use called? Um, the service I use is called Caller ID Reputation. Um, 
I keep 200 DIDs for my callers and we average about a 10% replacement a month. So that service, I upload all the, the caller IDs to that software. That software then checks it and every week we go through and look at it, whether it was flagged by T-Mobile or AT&T, Verizon, it doesn't matter. We pull that number out and then we delete it out of the dialer and put a new caller ID in and then re-upload that to caller ID reputation. So our, we know our numbers are fresh. I know my calls are going through. I've solved that issue. And as, as owning a dialer and knowing the other dialer companies, we do have software to check spam, but we don't have that to check every single thing the way that caller reputation does. Right. And this is a third party service that I highly recommend you guys to get because we cannot offer it. Like it's too expensive. We may be able to integrate it in and, and charge, you know, cost for it or something like that in the future. Cause I think that's going to be so important to the success of people is that you just touched on it. It's, having the right amount of phone numbers. You don't want to burn your numbers. No. And then it's knowing the reputation and then knowing the contact rate. Those yep. are the most important things. And besides that, be consistent. Make sure you use batch skip tracing because it's the best phone numbers. Oh, 100%. That's the other thing people don't know is like, I'm not trying to sell my product. I can literally tell you, we have hands down, and I'm sure you've ran tests against our phone numbers. We are the best. And if you're texting or calling or doing any type of outbound, the most important thing is having the best phone numbers because you have a higher likelihood of getting in contact with people and that yeah. is our goal. Now, yeah. once you get in contact with people, make sure you get good at building rapport and closing deals and solving their problems. It's about solving problems. That's what wholesaling is about. You're helping someone in a yeah. crappy situation and obviously your time is valuable. You need to get paid a fee or even if you're buying the property for yourself, like that is how the world works. You add value in return you get money yeah yeah don't overcomplicate wholesaling it's have a conversation with a, a individual figure out what they really need to do and if you're not the right fit let them know move on that's why you're doing this as a numbers game and you're looking for the people you can help um i don't do acquisitions very often now but when i do do acquisitions i, I just bought two houses last night and my team comes in they're like what's the condition of the house how many bedroom bathrooms i'm like i have no clue like I bought the house, I know it's a good deal. They can remodel the whole thing. It doesn't matter to me, I solved the problem. Right. I don't know the condition of the house. I know that the price I got it at, which solved her problem, allows me to do whatever we need to do to the property. Exactly. So quit worrying about the price. Exactly. So before we go, I ask this to every person that comes on to the hot take, I don't tell you, uh -huh. but just as an entrepreneur, what's some advice that you would give to someone? Um. The vice is number one, believe in yourself. You have to find that thing and believe in yourself. I'm not a believer in plan B. It's plan A, it's all in, I believe in me. And so to believe in me, surround yourself with winners. When you have uh, negative people in your life and they're always beating you down, move to a different playground, man. There's plenty of people out there that will have your back that will help you stay consistent. And as long as you're consistent, you cannot lose. That is a great answer. And if someone wants to get a hold of Blake Smith, how would they do that? What socials can you give them? Or do you even have socials? <laughs> I do. I don't uh, I don't get on it very long, but you can find me at Instagram at, uh, I think it's AZ underscore Blake. I'm not even sure. I think that's right. I but, think that's yeah, right. you can hit me up on there. I'll message it. Just, you know, I may or may not get back to you in a day because I'm not <laughs> big on it. <laughs> All right, dude. Thank you so much for coming on. That was compacted value on having success with cold calling. So I appreciate you so much. Yeah, of course. And if anybody you're looking into batch, but you really just need some help on cold calling, reach out to me. I'm happy to have a quick call with you to explain what I do for a process and how we're successful with cold calling. That's a go giver. I appreciate you. Thank you so much for watching. And again, to Blake dropping gems. If you like this video, make sure to smash that button, subscribe to the channel. And until next time, let's get it.